Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. CBS talking about it. USA Today talking about it. PBS. Everybody but PBS. When that kind of stuff happens, how do you think that benefits us? And that's a story that we don't get into nearly as much as we should. Did it ever, did it ever occur to anybody? To remind yourself of the responsibility we have. I'm not blaming any of the folks there in the audience. They didn't know. And even though BET is owned by Paramount, it's still BET. Black folks everywhere. All up in there. And that's what we celebrate. We, as a community, are going to be held accountable for that. You mad because so BET is celebrating OJ? Who else going to celebrate him? Are you stupid he was found innocent nigga in the court of laws the white laws but your nose is gonna go on talking about how are you crazy you would have did this you would have did that where the f do you niggas come from i've never seen some lazy house nigga you ain't even a house nigga. You the nigga that's sucking the house niggas. They have these stooges like half hair. Stephen from Django Smith perched up to do their work. They put them on national TV. They put them on these big stages where they can have a big audience where they their words can have some influence and they use these little monkeys like Stephen A. Smith to say the things that they can't say publicly. I'll confess sometimes it's really really hard to not let that other part of this brother out of me. You know this there's just certain you don't say about black people. Because to Willie D, the phase on, make no mistake about it, I'm not scared. Not even a little bit. But unlike y'all, I'm going to remember that y'all are brothers. And so I'm not going to go there. See, what people miss is the trial was televised. This ain't we read about and then moved on from, or we heard about and moved on from. The trial was for eight months. Preponderance of evidence against you, whether you're found not guilty or not, a lot of people usually think you're guilty. It's not a crime. We ain't the ones that committed the crime. I'm not the one that did it, Faison. That wasn't me. And you're talking about the BET Awards and me bringing up something and you acting like I'm out of pocket. Well, where were you last year? When the Oscars were taking place in 2023, a month after Robert Blake, a.k.a. Beretta, had passed away. He passed away and then Jimmy Kimmel, who was emceeing the Oscars, said this, put this quote up on the screen for me, y'all. So he wasn't honored. Which brings me to my point. They actually didn't show his face. Give me a break. Jay-Z got it on the 444 album. What are you talking about? I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. We all know it. You in an uproar? All caught up in your feelings. You're supposed to be a funny man. You're supposed to be making people laugh. You're supposed to be sitting up there and entertaining us and all of this stuff. And you got your face all cringed up. Looking like you ready to go ballistic over OJ. OJ. That, that's why. So Willie D and I probably never speak in life and that's cool. Don't know him. Never met him. If I did, I'm sorry. I don't recall. Stooge. That's one of the names you called me called me a monkey.
If you're wondering why I closed my eyes just now, it's because I did a quick prayer and I'm getting your not whether you can win or lose in a fight. It's not whether you can get harmed or not. It's what you're willing to get harmed for. I'm going to incite anything. I'm not going to do that with anybody, but especially my brothers. I'm wrong, and you have the capability to articulate what I'm wrong about. Why couldn't you just say that? Why do I have to be called out of my name like that? Wow, check it, man. Check it, check it, check it, man. I'm so, hey, man, listen, listen, man. Boss Talk 101 tapping in, first of all, man. Do y'all hear this, man? Uh, Stephen A. claps back. He's, he strikes back, you know. He's flagrant. He's coming out with, listen, Faison and Willie D are brothers, too. And this brother right here, you know, Stephen A. Smith, uh, they've caught him in the red a few times, numerous of times when it comes to the black culture. Numerous of times they feel like he's cooning when he comes out and his, his, his whole delivery of his journalism. Numerous of times, man. Then you come for OJ when it comes down to BET and it comes down to he feels like they shouldn't have honored him. Listen, man, these are four black guys. And when you think about it, man, Willie D, man, Willie D, I agree with Willie D, man. And I'm rocking with Faison for sure. Y'all already know I rock with Faison. That's my guy. But I'm just telling you, man, do you see this, man? Stephen H claps back like he really want the smoke. And this guy's not prepared. He's not even really like that. Uh, from what I see, you know, but he's out here like he going when he if he ever see him and all that. But that, I don't know, man, like, man, stop playing on this Internet. Stephen A. Smith, you know, darn well, I've never seen you. You know, you, you lady, you done jumped over in something different, man. These brothers right here is not the ones. They not the ones or the twos. So I'm telling you right now, man, it would be best if you stand down. You know, I'm telling you right now, man, don't do it, man. I don't want to see none of you brothers get into it. But good Lord, man, you are really, really acting like you really want the smoke. And I don't know if you want the smoke. So stop it, bro. Like, I'm sitting, I'm, everybody's talking about it. They've been in my inbox. They say, E, what you gonna say about that? That's your boy Faison. So I said, look, you know what? I'm gonna get up and say something about it because at the end of the day, it's crazy, it's foolishness when it come down to, are you ready for the smoke? You not scared of neither one of them. Stephen A. Smith, man, let that go, man. Let that go. You spoke out of turn with OJ. You know already OJ did sports and all kind of other stuff. You wasn't balanced with the way that you delivered the journalism. So at the end of the day, these guys coming for you. And not only them, there's a lot of people. That's just the ones you see coming directly. But it's gotten out of hand. I mean, names are being told, spoken. People are saying things, man. You got to stop this, man. This is something that you got to stop. You don't want this like this. Bro, I'm telling you right now. I'm looking at your face, your expression. You are well trained. But at the end of the day, Willie D, you don't want that. You done seen what he do. He got, Google him. Faison, you done seen what he do. Google him. You don't want that, man. Let that go. You, you want to do a celebrity boxing match with these guys? Stop it. You not really, you don't want to step there with these guys. I don't know if you're ready for this. But you, you, you claim that you, you're not fearing them and you saying names and they saying names and this thing is getting to where you, you might run into these guys. What are you going to do? You seen Faison at the airport. What are you going to do if you run into these guys, man? You got your security tight? Because this is a different world. This is not that we just sitting behind the counter and we journalizing and hoping everything. No, you might run into these guys now. That's the way fate will have it a lot of times. So I'm telling you right now, stand down, man. Don't let this stuff roll out the street. Kids is watching you, all of y'all, really. But you know you shouldn't have said that about no OJ. You don't speak on OJ. You don't speak on no uh, BET Awards. That's not even your lane. I said this a few weeks ago. On the, you are jumping out the box for some entertainment now. You are a straight podcaster. I don't know if you're in competition with Club Shay Shay, but you are saying things and doing things and going into different things in different people's lives that normally you wouldn't even attack. You was on sports. So now you over here? Listen, man, I'm just saying, man, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, guys, get into the comments. Let me know. Is Stephen A. Smith built like this? Is there, is there a chance there could be smoke with Willie D? 
smoke with face on love. I'm just saying, man. I don't think he's. I don't think this is the way he usually get down with his get down. But man, make sure you guys subscribe, join the membership. But uh, let me know what you think about this phase on love, Willie D, Stephen A. Smith. Man, who was wrong in this? Was it Stephen A? Was it Willie D? Was it phase on? I know the first shot was fired when Stephen A. said what he said about them recognizing OJ. He died, man. What do you expect? Let us know, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.